guys, I just picked up my Goodman air handler, two ton air handler, and I'm on my way back to that job I was at yesterday to change out that leaking coil. Um, for the price of the coil and the pan, um, actually I got the air handler cheaper for what they wanted just for the old coil. And it was going to take three weeks to get the coil because they had to make it in the factory. So. I'm just going to change the whole air handler out, put a Goodman in there, and uh, I like the Goodmans, they come apart easy, take them all apart, be able to get it up in the attic, but yeah, it's going to be kind of um, a little tough job here, but it's going to be like 85 tomorrow, so it's only 65, it's like 12 o'clock, so I'm going to see how much I can get done today before it gets hot out, supposed to be having like a uh, heat wave come through here, so. This thing's in the attic. I want to get it done. Even if I gotta work late, I'll do it. See how much I can get done. I'm gonna go there, pump it down, and start ripping and tearing. Uh, maybe get this one up in place. The only thing is that other unit's a 110. Um, this one's a 220. But I was over there today. I checked out the wiring. The wiring goes separate all the way back to the panel with its own breaker. I have room to put a 220 uh, breaker in there. Cutler hammer breaker. Actually, they ran a three wire, so there's an extra wire in the panel. I don't know why they ran a three wire, but they did, so. Now I'm switching it from 110 to 208 or 220. So that's the deal there. Goodman saved the day. Alright, I'll get some footage on this. Alright, I'm here to pump this unit down. So there's some gas in there. I haven't started it yet. I've just got the low side hooked up. But I want to pump it down. If I get a shot at it. There it is up there, a little attic space. 
We're looking at them just coming up through the hole here, peeping up through. So the unit's the same size, the new one's four inches longer. So basically, I'm just gonna put a piece on that return elbow. And I'm gonna put the new unit right in there. It's the same exact dimensions. Obviously, I'm gonna need to, uh, it's got a secondary pan below it, but right, that's it. I'm gonna overall get a little better peek at it. All right, I'm up here. This is the ear handle. Secondary pan. Little float switch. The other one's four inches long. All I'm gonna do is disconnect this this flex here. Remove the uh, return plenum. Remove the supply plenum. Pull the guts out of this baby. And get it down from here. Sitting on a couple of hangers. Take the new one apart. Get it up in here and pipe it off. Well, I'll keep you guys posted. All right, guys. I got the electrical disconnected. I got it moved over the side there. Got it off in the panel, obviously. Got that off. The thermostat wire is disconnected. The three wire, basically, the red, the fan, and the yellow. And the line going to the condensing unit. The two wire pulling that conductor. rest I'm just gonna pull these this fan coil this fan out pull the a coil out and then this cabinet will be light be able to get it out of here light enough the old air handler, coil, fan, what a big tin can, all it is, lightweight, took it right out, two hours, actually an hour and a half, got it out, got a new one, take it apart, get it up in there, this one's four inches longer than that one. Same exact size though, as far as physical dimensions. Just four inches longer. So I just got a piece for the um, the return pipe. Four inches. Because it's a flex. And it was pretty tight to begin with, so I'll be good. Alright guys, the difference in size there. It's four inches cabinet it's the old and this is the new pretty much the same size it's the new a little stuff out of it two panels coil and the fan and that's the only way to fly I can manhandle this thing myself no problem get it up in the attic Alright guys, I got this thing all pretty much piped off here. I got my dryer up here. I got a wet rag there. Just to keep it cool. That's been um, that's the old connection from the other one. Well, I gotta put my dry nitrogen downstairs and give it a small purge while I braise this stuff up. I got my little B tank over there in the bucket with the turbo propane, nice small. Easy to bring up in the attic. Put the coil in. Blowers in. Supplies tied in. The returns tied in. I just gotta tie my flex into that after. Flex is over there. Do the wiring. Electrician's coming first thing in the morning to switch it over for me. One thing I don't have is an electrical license, so I don't do it. Not that I can't, but I just hire him to do it. I swear here, there's no issues. Everything's done legally. 
You just gotta put a two pole breaker, cut my hammer downstairs. Actually, the guy ran a three wire up here. switch and a cutler hammer two pole breaker this is 110 down going all the way down to the panel so we're just gonna run 240 this unit's 240 so I'm gonna solder this up let me purge on outside braze this stuff up 15% silver solder and uh, I'm gonna put my vacuum on it see what time is it pretty good time hang on a second 336 so I started coming out here about 12 o'clock, so I got the old one out and the new one in a little over three hours. Let's see the access port down there. Got the old ripped and teared the old one out, got the new one up in here. Working on piping it off. So I'm making good time here. Alright. Alright, I got my nitrogen here. Going up the suction line. And I'm coming back up the liquid, the liquid line. I got it disconnected. What I do, this is what I do. I don't know what anybody else does, but I get it going a small amount and I put it up to my ear. If I can hear it hissing out just a small amount, that's what I want. I don't want to put out too much because it'll blow the solder out. Stick it up to your ear. I don't know if you guys can hear that. But it's just pissing out a little bit. That's all you need. So I got dry nitrogen running up through the suction line, through the piston, back down and return. I got them both off here. Because all the refrigerants in the condensing unit. That's it. Oh, I guess I'm about five. This should be good. Ready to solder. Alright guys, the piston that comes in the um, the unit is a 59, it's 57, I want to run a 55 for the 2 ton, I found that works best for 2 ton, I got 52, I got a whole bag of them here, all kinds, all different sizes, 52, all different sizes, 55, see I wrote on there 2 tons, 55. I might just use that one. Oh, I got the 410A piston is is actually bigger than a 22 piston. So if you get a coil that's got a uh, set up for 410A and you're going to run a piston, you got to put a little bit smaller size in there. And, you know, and if it's if it's a problem flooding back or whatnot, you can just change it. It's not a big deal. Suck it down and change it out. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put that one in there. I got it all braised up. time here today. Alright, we got nitrogen in it. I'll watch it for a while. Why are we there? One. Sixty, seventy, eighty. Sixty two. Mark that down and I'll watch it for a while. My vacuum set up ready. I don't think I can put the Appian hoses on this one either. Maybe. I'm gonna try. Don't look good. I'll try it. It's probably ain't gonna work. I know these. I'm definitely gonna change them. But we'll see what I can do. All right, it's about five o'clock. I got the unit all tied in up there. I got the refrigerant lines tied in. I tested. I want to pull a vacuum. My vacuum pump died. My JB. Can't believe it. 
So I got a couple extras in the garage. I'll grab one of them. When I get a little bit more time, I'll find out what's going on. Maybe it's a bad capacitor or something. The motor's not running. I checked the power and a couple of different outlets. and Got the old stuff in here. Bring it home. Put it in my junk pile. But tomorrow's supposed to be like 85, so I'm kind of glad I got this done. So a couple hours in the morning, I'll be done here and we'll charge it up. We'll get them going. Heading home. Heading home for a cold one. Nothing like a cold beer at the end of the day. That's for sure. Alright guys. I'll finish this up tomorrow when I'm done and, um, and I'll post it. Alright, have a good night.